Stadium and Olympic Expo. The luggage storage is available from 6.30 until Hotel Korea Marathon 2000. So I ended up running both the 6k and the 10k and um, I should probably take these off, this is too pretentious, I had my moment on the streets. Actually both of these numbers weren't mine, they were given to me a couple of days ago because people were either lazy <laughs> or injured. So yeah, I wasn't expecting this and especially my result in the 10k. My Garmin was 15 minutes and 11 seconds and as I said previously, my goal was like 50 minutes. <laughs> and this is actually better than last year. If you look at my Strava data, you can see my pace is gradually becoming faster and faster and then because in the middle I figured it's just too easy. <laughs> I mean, I, I intentionally went slow because I didn't want to repeat what happened last year. I didn't want to have another bad experience with a 10k in the marathon. Um, but yeah, I could have easily gone faster and therefore I could have had a sub 50 if that means anything. So after the 10k I felt quite good <laughs> comparison to last year again. Um, so I had another number for the 6k and because my number was quite high I went in to the second bunch of participants um, because it's the shortest distance it's the most popular one and there's always like bajillions of people it's the ones that like don't really run regularly I would say like it's not a bad thing or nothing there's a lot of hikers and uh, people with sticks and tourists and regular clothing that are just walking the whole route as an excursion or something but it's not bad I mean like you get a unique um, medal in the end therefore if you want to achieve a PR um, or run like a good pace you have to buy the number in advance like that's my <laughs> tip <laughs> like that's logical um, since like the later you buy it the bigger number you get um, and in the end it's just walking <laughs> even if you want to run you either have to run like outside the course um, or or there's no other way <laughs> therefore even though I like short distances I would rather um, pick a 10k for the marathon since there's just no crowding you know there's less people and you can actually run your pace and um, this year for the 6k I just went for the medal it was just like a cool off <laughs> I wasn't even running like he don't I, I'm not even going to say the result that I had because I didn't do it for the result I just ran the 10k I drank approximately <laughs> 7 milliliters of water before so there was a lot of pain I just enjoyed the experience much more than usually because usually I'm just like focused on the route which I did for the 10k but not as much because I was just I was actually focused on don't just go into that pace of just smashing it all the time and not even like noticing anything around you because when I like go fast I, I just go fast there's no 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 enjoyment uh, that's why I don't race <laughs> anymore actually i can say that because i used to race in swimming 
I'm just rambling like this video just so much rambling that's what happens when you haven't uploaded for months at a time like I swear like the marathon video the 300 and something ride in summer and some travel videos will continue to be uploaded on this channel so look forward to that what else can I say after that disclaimer and all that rant I'm looking forward to next year I want to run the 10k again because it's the most comfortable distance um, and you should too I mean in marathon to get the sense of community which I noticed this year um, even though there's a lot of crowding and a bunch of people and chaos but you're all doing the same thing at the same time you're running and that kind of unites um, even if you hate people like I do I mean this is where I stop <laughs> this is where Alice stops what did I used to say in the end? cover the fuck up Go vegan, get amongst it. See you on the road, man.